action. So I've been I've been living with this woman for 32 years. And I met her 34 years ago. I had gone to see a performance she did, a monologue that was like amazing, okay? And I, I just, I have a very hard time with everything. So to, for me to like something is like kind of weird. So I really liked it and I was very excited about everything she had done and I had, I said, well, you know, we could collaborate. Let, let's let's form a performance group, like a like an art band or something. And, and we did, and, and we did perform. We went to clubs and we played different venues and it was really interesting. I'm not gonna say it was exactly fun. We, we enjoyed it, but it was, it was weird. Um, we even had a little radio show late at night. Um, and I had promised myself that I was not gonna get involved with her. She was, she was too nice and too smart. So I figured I'm not gonna inflict her with me, okay, which is compassionate. Um, so we did this for like a year and a half or more and then all, I don't know, you know, uh, one night, you know, wouldn't you know it, you know, yeah, there you go. And I, I moved in with her. <clears throat> so she's had animals her entire life. Um, but then she got involved in feral rescue work and started learning and studying with masters in Reiki and T-Touch and other modalities. And she became a feral rescue worker in volunteering in shelters to make animals uh, uh, habitable so that they could so that they could have forever homes and she would also go to people's homes to to on a professional basis to help people with the animals that were having issues so the truth is that i was her first feral rescue and she's been socializing me ever since and and she says that i'm a work in progress okay that's it.